Um, lost the first part of this video uh, midway through recording this. The GoPro beeped that it SD card issue or something, and I had to pop it out and reseed it. And now that first uh, bit that I recorded, uh, unusable. So basically, what I'm doing here is I got a few cans. I think it was eight or something. It's a guy that lives on down the road from me. He uh, st stopped by one day and just asked if I'd mill them up for him. You know, he, he used to work at the same mill I get all the other ones from. He's retired now. I was like, yeah, sure. So I hopped on the forklift, went down, picked them up. And I'm just metal detected them. So these uh, rejected cedar cans that I get, um, some of them have metal in them. And I think yeah, I've showed it before, but uh, this is what I do. It's pretty simple. Metal detect them. Pull out the metal if possible. Some of them are full of stuff and you know if if you can't see it or if you start getting into some like fence wire or something it's it's just not worth it you just chuck that one out cut it up goes into uh kindling firewood camp firewood uh where i i burn a lot of my cedar scraps throughout the summer in the barrel stove pool heater that i made so but anyhow uh, my wife and i are gonna go through these cans you know normally when I do this we're getting I'm getting like a whole truck load or trailer load you know four or five times this many cans at a time but figured I had a few minutes and I'd uh, get these metal detected up so hopefully you enjoy the video oh, sorry hopefully you enjoy the video okay so there's part of it Okay, I can see it now. It's ahead of a nail. There we go. Now well, let's metal detect it again. We've got the two known things out. We'll see if anything else beeps on it. Pretty good. And this one you can tell you've been cutting stuff on top of it. But we'll get what we can out of it. Never so often when they're not beeping, I just scan my boot, make sure it's working. Okay. Batteries might be getting low or something. Let's see. There's something there. We'll go digging at it here in a minute. Okay. Whatever we got. Oh, it's shallow. That's why. There's this dark stain, and I can see the nail right there. Now 
Now part of what can make this kind of hard is if you look at the uh, weighing on this, so the way the tree was, this is the inside of it, so the head of this nail is down in here somewhere. So. Yep, I can see the head of the nail now. And there we go. So that was in like this. Even though we got something out, I always like to double check it again. Especially in that one spot because you got a nail, but that doesn't mean there's not another one. And while I'm doing this, I watch for rocks too, because rocks aren't gonna necessarily, you know, they're not gonna set this off. But they'd hurt the saw, so. Okay. And that's how. And that's how I get those metal detected. So usually it's uh, like four times that many that I do at once. But uh, that's the way it usually goes too. Pull a few nails out, end up with a few over here that are just full of nails or sometimes it's fence wire. If I start seeing fence wire, I usually don't even try on it because it's probably throughout the whole thing. And I've got several too that were I pulled bullets out of. But I can't tell the difference in between a bullet, a piece of lead that's not going to hurt the saw, and metal. So they just get chucked into firewood. But that's how we do that. So thanks for watching.